Manga, manga, and more manga. I read a lot of it in my spare time, and by my spare time, I mean at work. So much so that I decided to say, hey, screw it, let's see if any of these are worth your time. And with time in mind, I'm not going to waste any of yours. Let's see if this manga is for you in 10 minutes or less. Shai is a shonen manga written and drawn by Buki Mimiki, published in Shonen Champion, and as of this recording, has 82 chapters. Shai revolves around the world that was saved from World War III by the arising population of people with superpowers. In fact, the people with superpowers go over so well that the heroes become full-on representatives of their country, and our main hero in Shai is the representative of Japan, who has to basically come to terms with not only her shyness, her past mistakes, but also the new enemies that have arrived called the Amalarikes. Or is it Amalariks? I'm not really sure. Someone got starting off with the good end, of course, the characters. Now, while this manga has a plethora of supporting characters to choose from, we are going to focus solely on Shai, aka Teru Momijiyama. Her character is possibly one of the most endearing protagonists I have ever seen in a manga. She has the perfect amount of heroic and self-consciousness that I have just fallen in love with. A lot of times a character whose entire gimmick is shyness, that can get annoying super fast because they'll have these moments of being too apprehensive or too shy and it just gets to the point of utter annoyance. But with Teru, there's this feeling of she's trying her damnness and that feeling is present through the entire series. She perfectly balances her shyness and heroic tendencies because you can tell she doesn't want to be shy and she refuses to let that define her. It's beautiful. She wants to be this big, strong, heroic hero and she doesn't want to just bring shame to her people. She wants to bring pride to her name, to her country by being the best that she can be. And a lot of time is spent on her achieving that goal. In fact, in the manga, it shows this both metaphorically and literally with how she obtains her powers. But what those powers are, of course, I won't say much without getting into spoilers. Either way, I find her to be an extremely endearing protagonist. She has that underdog way of persevering through everything that's being thrown at her and making it out no matter what. And I love her for it. She is a great main protagonist. I suppose real quick since we have time, I'll talk a little bit about the supporting cast. And for the supporting cast, we have quite a good plethora of people to choose from. We have Spirits, the hero from Russia, who's just all sorts of fun and is basically the milf bait of this manga. Koshikawa is a girl who Shai saved, who unfortunately did break her leg in the process, but the two fast go over it and become fast friends. And also Stardust, the hero from England, who seems rather familiar to someone in real life. I think that's just me though. The art in this manga is top notch, personally. It has that sketchy style that I know a lot of people don't like, but for me it's fantastic, it works for the manga, it works for the effects, and there are plenty of great panels, plenty of fun set pieces, and this manga rarely, if ever, looks wonky or off model. Which is very surprising to me, honestly. For a shonen manga like this, very surprising, but it's great. I love it. I love the art style. It has this cutesy nature to it that just makes it welcoming and easy on the eyes for anybody trying to pick it up. It's perfection for this type of manga. The biggest issue with Shy is the pacing. The pacing as of now feels like it's trying to wrap up a side arc, but the side arc is the main arc. But it also adds a lot of padding in there that just doesn't need to be there. It can divert from the main story so much that you kind of just sit there thinking, why are we doing this? In fact, there's plenty of times where the author feels like they're trying to introduce a new character, but we don't really need them. Granted, the characters they usually introduced are fun anyways, but they don't really add so much to the story, especially at that moment. It kind of feels like it's trying too hard to set up what comes after without focusing on where we are now. 
Overall, I think Shy is a very interesting read, and I do recommend it for anybody who's into stuff in the shonen genre. Though, do keep in mind, this manga is very different from things in the shonen genre that you're used to. In fact, a lot of it kind of feels like it's a mixture of shonen and shoujo, with its cutesy, girly, shoujo eye esque feelings and escapades mixed with the really hardcore, badass shonen action that you're used to from this type of stuff. And it's mixed together rather well. You would think these two ingredients wouldn't really come together well, but in this manga, they really excel. And it's to the point where I think what comes out of it is a very interesting hybrid. Do keep in mind when you're going to read this though, this manga runs a lot more on emotion than it does logic. Now for some, that could be a big detriment. In fact, that could even be a deal breaker for a lot of people. But for me, I was able to get over that rather quickly because what we get in its stead is a very emotional and quite frankly, many heartwarming moments that even to me actually kind of got me when I was reading it. And I think because of that, this manga should not be seen in the same vein as something like Key Man or Boku no Hero because it's neither of those and you shouldn't think of it as either of those. It's its completely own thing with a entirely unique feel. And it's something that I really wish a lot of other manga would go for mixing these types of genres because it goes really well. Overall, I think anybody looking for something different with superheroes added to it this manga is perfect for you i cannot recommend it hard enough and hey it's going by pretty fast guys it's a weekly shonen thing so go read it well that is time everybody if you liked the video if you picked up shy please do leave a comment tell us what you like about it I actually really am curious because this is a manga that I've been shilling for a long time and I want to see just exactly everyone thinks about it. So please leave a comment, maybe give us a like and a subscribe, and check out all these other videos. And I'll see you guys next time for another manga in 10 minutes or less. Bye.